In this tutorial, I'll walk you through every step I used to create this waffle. Let's go! Press Shift A and add a circle. In the menu here in the left, change vertices to 16. Press Tab to go into Edit Mode, 1 to go into Vert Select or the icon here. I'm going to Face and select Grid Fill. Now go into Edge Select by pressing 2 or the icon here and select the outside edges by holding Shift and Alt. Now press E and right click to confirm and then S and scale it up. Now go into Vert Select by pressing 1 or the icon here and then press Ctrl B to bevel and then V and then we'll increase the bevel and we'll make it nice and round. Then press A and extrude it up with E. Press 3 to go into face select or the icon here. Select the inside faces. Then press I to inset. You might have to press I twice to, select, to inset every face. And then press E and extrude it down. Press Ctrl R to add a loop cut. And then S to scale it up. And then press Ctrl B to bevel it. And increase your bevels with your mouse wheel. And right click and shade smooth. Now we'll go and add the syrup. So press uh, 7 on your numpad or your tilde key and go into top view. And then we'll press shift A and we'll add a plane. And go and tab into edit mode and then scale it down. Now we can press set and we'll ex activate toggle x-ray. Yeah, like that. And then we'll move it here to the side. We'll go into vert select and we'll scale it down some more. And we'll move it here nice and then rotate it with R and then select these two vertices and we can drag those all the way there. And then we'll press E to extrude. And then we'll press two or the icon here to go to edge select and we'll select this side edge and we'll press E to extrude. And then we'll extrude again. So that face edge, extrude extrude again and then that edge and we'll extrude it there i'm going to vert select and we'll change the form a tiny bit so it looks nice so you can just move around some verts to make a nice syrup shape there i like that we'll place that there place that there there then press tab to leave edit mode and then press ctrl 2 to add a subdivision modifier Press tab to go back into edit mode and then with control R we'll add some loop cuts here in these four places. And then tab to go out of edit mode, press set and toggle x-ray and then G and Z and we can move it up. And then tab to go into edit mode, A to select all and then E and we'll extrude it up. And we'll extrude it up like that. We'll go to a modifier step and we'll increase the subdivisions to four so it's nice and smooth. Uh, leave edit mode and then right click shade auto smooth um, go back into edit mode press ctrl r and add a loop cut and then move it down and then we can move it with g and z we can move it down into our waffle there yeah that looks perfect now we'll go into front view and then press shift a and we'll add a camera press g and y and move your camera back Go into your output settings and change the resolution to 1920 by 1920. Press 0 on your numpad or go through your view menu and change your view to camera view. And then with G and Z we can like move it back and forward. And then we'll place it somewhere there. Then we'll select our waffle and then press R twice. And then we can rotate it around and we'll rotate it there. Yeah, that looks great. And then press Shift A, Mesh, and add a plane. And we'll add it as a background. So we'll press G and Y, and we'll move it back. And then we can press Tab and S to scale it up. And then we'll make sure it covers our background. Perfect. Then we'll do our lighting. So first we'll change our render settings. We'll change the engine to Cycles. We'll change the device to GPU Compute. Viewport sampling, I'll change it to 128 and our render should be fine at 512. Scroll down, go to color management and change the look to medium high contrast. Then when you press Z, we can go into rendered view and we'll start adding our lighting. So go to light, area light, 
Press your period key and change your pivot point to 3D cursor. Press G and Z and move it up. And then we'll go into our light settings and we'll change the shape to disc. And I'll change the size to 2. And we'll change the power to 50. Then we'll press RX30 minus there just like that. Okay, now select your light, press Shift D, R, Z, 120, and then Shift R to duplicate the last action. And then with R and X twice, we can rotate it on the X axis. And we'll rotate it there and this one like here. And then press Shift D, Enter, R, X, X, and then we'll place it from the bottom. And we'll change this size to 5, so it's nice and big. Now we'll change our pivot back point back to median point, shift A and add another area light and then press RX90 so it points towards the background, press G and Y and we'll move it towards the background. Shape is disk, we'll change the size to 2 and then the power can be something like 700 maybe. Might be a bit too bright but we'll see. Yeah I'll change it back to 500 maybe, tone it down a tiny bit. Okay, that looks perfect. So let's do our shading. If you move your mouse towards the corner here, you'll see that it changed into a small plus and then you can drag and it will open another screen. And then in this screen, we'll press set and we'll change it to rendered view. And then we can zoom in a tiny bit. And then here on this icon here, we'll have a drop down menu and we'll change to shader editor, just like that. Okay, then we'll select our background and we'll add a new material and we'll call this one background and we'll give it a nice color so we'll go here I'll scroll in a bit base color is going to be FFC 597 there we go then we'll select a waffle add a new material we'll call it waffle and here we're going to add a few nodes and before we do this go into edit preferences and then into add-ons and search for node wrangler and make sure that it's activated then in our uh, shader we'll press shift a search and we'll add a gradient texture and then make sure gradient texture is selected and press ctrl t and it will add a mapping and a texture coordinate which we can then use to uh, place our gradient texture press shift a search and add a color ramp there and then connect the color of the gradient texture and then the color of the color ramp to base color there's our color so then we'll fix the y rotation to 90 and then we'll start start adding some colors to our color ramp and that will be the first color change the black to bc5 b00 and then we can add another color and then we'll change the right one to the same bc5 b00 and then we'll change our middle color to a nice light color and that's going to be ffa257 there that looks great i'm going to move the position of this one a tiny bit to 0.9 maybe there that looks great okay and then we'll change our roughness of our waffle to maybe 0.3. That's a bit shiny. I like how that looks. Okay, perfect. Now we'll uh, do our syrup. So click on the syrup and then we'll add a new material. We'll call it syrup. And then we'll change some settings here as well. The base color is going to be E77D55. We want to change the subsurface to 1. And we'll change our IOR to 1.5. Transmission is going to be 1. And then roughness is going to be 0. And that's our syrup. Now we'll just uh, only have to change the world color. So we can go here. And then in this corner, be sure to be on the left screen. Change it to the plus again. And then drag it over the right one. And it will be just one screen again. And then we'll go here into our world tab and we'll change our color to B86D4D. There, that's it. And then all we have to do now is render. 
Thanks for joining me. If you have questions or requests, drop them in the comments below and feel free to like and subscribe. I'd love to see your results, so tag me on Instagram. See you soon.